Welcome again to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at conditional formatting using a formula. We want to use a checkbox to control the conditional formatting that we are going to apply to certain cells that meet a certain category. And also we want to control also conditional formatting from a drop down list. That's what we're gonna look at today. So let's start with the drop down list. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a drop down list. And to do that, I go to data, data validation, and I'm gonna click list items. So I won't give it different colors. I'll say red, blue, and green. Then say save that. So I have my drop down here, which has red, blue, and green. So what I want to do is that when I select green here, I want these pictures to be colored green. When I select red, I want them colored red. And when I select blue, let them be colored blue. So to do that, I'm going to use conditional formatting and use custom formula. So what I'm gonna do, go to format, conditional formatting. So my, I'm going to apply my conditional formatting to these cells, properly correct, selected. But the, among the rules, I'm going to use custom formula. So custom formula is going to be, what do I want? I want to make sure that if this one is green, then this cells are promoted green, and so on. So I'm controlling them from this drop down. So my B2, I have to fix E, step two. If that's equal to red, what do I want? I want these cells to be colored red. So the red color set down. I want to use this again. So let me just copy this. Okay. Then add another rule to the stem. If these using a custom formula, uh, if it is blue. Change the color to blue. Say done. Add another rule. Custom formula again. Say if it is green, ensure other stores color green. Say done. So as you can see, my cells are green because green is selected here. So if I remove that, nothing happens. So if I come here and say red, the cells are red, choose blue, and choose green. You can see how the colors are changing. So the colors are changing based on what is selected in the drop down list. The next is checkbox. I'm going to put here two checkboxes and to insert checkboxes, you go to insert, go down. You see checkbox here. First highlight where you want to put the checkboxes then go insert checkbox Then the checkbox will be added. Now when you add, when you click on the one of the checkbox, you see the value of the checkbox has false. If I click on it, check it, comes true, like so. So that's the value of the checkbox. That's what we're gonna be using to control. And what we're gonna do is we are going to call this checkbox less than 50. And this one is more than 50. And what we want to achieve is that among these values that I type here, if the value is less than 
50, those, if I click on this checkbox, and the values in this data set are less than 50, will be highlighted. Then click on this other second checkbox, and the values are more than 50, the values more than 50 will be highlighted. And if I click on both of them, both values more than 50 and less than 50 will be highlighted. So you'll observe that there are two conditions that have to be met. One, the checkbox has to be ticked and the value has to be less than 50, or the second checkbox also will have been ticked and the value is more than 50. So there are two conditions that have to be met for these colors to be shown on these figures here. So let's go and add a rule under uh, the cells, you select those cells, then go down. And again, we're going to use formula. And because there are two rules that have to be met, the function I can think of that can accomplish that is the AND function. So what, what is the first rule? If I do less than 50, uh, my B5, this cell in the first checkbox, B5, has B5, so B5 has to be true, that's one of the conditions, I'm looking at highlighting values at less than 50, B, this one has to be checked. In other words, it's well, it has to be true. Then the second condition is that the values in this column have to be less than 50. So I need, recall, I need to fix the column. G, G5. has to be less than 50. I close my bracket. So I copy this because I'm going to use it. The next thing is what color, if the values are less than 50, how should they be highlighted by which color? So the color I want is that one. There. <clears throat> Done. Then come to add another rule. I'll go through the same custom formula. So now it is B6. So I'm, I'm doing for greater than. So this B6 has to be true. Another has to be checked. That's one of the conditions. Then the value for it to highlight the values here have to be more than 50. So more than 50. And then what color do, that, do I want? The background color that I want, if it's more than 50, maybe I'll choose that green and say done. So let's see whether it works now. There you go, when I click here, less than 50, values less than 50 are highlighted. If I uncheck, it goes away. If I do that, values more than 50 are highlighted. If I click both of them, then both values of more than 50 and less than 50 get highlighted. So this is the way how you can control your conditional formatting from a drop-down list or from a checkbox. Thank you for watching, hope this has been helpful. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next video.